GIDC, Ms. Keisha Mitchell, Senior Vice President, GIDC, Ms. Francis Herrera, Charge d'Affaires, U.S. Embassy, Grenada, entrepreneurs, viewers, all good morning. Noise is heard. 
You need to understand as well that fear, fear is not real. It is your imagination thinking of something that has not happened and scaring you into not taking the first step. If you are fearful, then let it scare you into something great. And don't just follow your passions, invest in them. Once you gain that understanding of yourself and the confidence that follows education, you will inevitably become an empowered entrepreneur. An empowered entrepreneur can set clear boundaries and expectations with others. You will have greater clarity to solve problems and attract better opportunities. This comes with practice too. You must practice effort, knowing who you are, pushing beyond other people's labels of you. When I look at your business, it should say, this is who I am. And you are confident and you are articulate. And you can say, this is who I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. When you start to unpack, you're going to start understanding your purpose. Why are you doing this? In 2021, I participated in the U.S. Department of State's Young Leader, Leaders of the Americas Initiative Fellowship Program, a program that empowers emerging entrepreneurs from the Western Hemisphere to enable full economic potential of the region's citizens. During that period, the world was in chaos, business was uncertain, and I barely began to ask myself, why am I even doing this? Aside from the valuable experience gained from the six-week internship, what helped me to establish my why was the seminars where we had the opportunity to establish our behind, our big, hairy, audacious goals. Through speaking with the mentor assigned to me and my whole supervisor sharing her personal journey as an entrepreneur, I discovered my why, my purpose, and it meant doing away with what I thought I wanted mm -hmm. and learning about who I am. Mm -hmm. It was only then that I started to understand what my vision meant and when I embraced the fact that I am indeed successful. So, what is success? Especially in our culture, Success is conveyed as a final resting place, the ultimate destination in one's career path. You often hear comments such as, when I grow up, I want to become A, and a very specific list of careers follow. Very rarely you hear someone say, I would like to become an entrepreneur. Why is that? Most of us, including myself, stumbled into entrepreneurship. You see, we have been conditioned to believe that success comes only when it is bestowed upon us, when we are given a title. Entrepreneurship is almost always a fallback plan. When all else fails. <laughs> have you met other entrepreneurs? And when you inquire about their business, they say things like, Oh, I'm a struggling artist. Or, as we say in colloquial terms, I did fight in the good fight. <laughs> or, my favorite, a China thing. <laughs> Class, an empowered entrepreneur understands that success is learning. That the only thing constant about life is change. Therefore, there is no end. For every ceiling you break, there is one above it. And the higher you go, the deeper you dig within yourself, the more you learn. Success is continuing the journey. Once you are confident in your why, it becomes a whole lot easier to persevere in the process. So don't wait, take what's yours. Of course, these things I've discovered well after I started my own company. I consider myself an honorary entrepreneur, still growing, still learning, barely scratching the surface of what's to come. Our island is small, but I know we are mighty. Small businesses are the backbone of our economy. 
we create jobs, we drive innovation, and we help to build strong communities. Grenada does not need another entrepreneur. Grenada needs disruptive entrepreneurs. Innovators who will create products, services, or ways of doing things which displaces the existing market leaders and eventually replaces them at the helm of the sector. <laughs> it is time we start educating ourselves, not only on an individual level and in our specific industries, but understanding how our impact affects the functioning of our country as a whole. The next time you find yourself wondering, am I good enough? Can I get this done? I want you to remember that every human being is faced with the same challenges, the battle inside their own mind. A part of them that wants to stay where they are because what is, is certain, versus another part that wants to grow, to expand, to evolve. So, what choice are you going to make? That will be your final exam. And I'll let you in on a little secret. You can retake it as many times as you need to. If plan A doesn't work, your plan B should be to find another way to make plan A work. <laughs> the GIDC, as well as the U.S. Embassy Grenada, often offer a host of opportunities to educate yourself about entrepreneurship. This crash course is the final piece of the blueprint for the roadmap to becoming an empowered entrepreneur. Congratulations, class of five to 12. Count this moment towards your list of enlightening experiences. The power is in your hands to make a difference.